Are you trying to learn Crota's End and you'd like to get to the point on the core mechanics or are you a Sherpa trying to explain this to your fire team? In this video, I will quickly go over just the core mechanics so you can get your team into the raid quickly. And if you're looking for something a little bit more detailed, check out for any raid, anything within my raid guides playlist. I have a ton of those out there. And for Crota's End, I have a specific playlist with details on every encounter. The Chalice is the core to all the mechanics within Crota's End. You pick up the chalice and you'll notice that you're, you have a meter that continues to go up. Once it's full up, you'll have 10 seconds to get rid of the chalice. If you don't, this buff that's on you will actually kill you. Get rid of the chalice and you become enlightened. That enlightenment will allow you to do a number of things within the raid. Once you use the enlightenment buff, you'll actually have another debuff put on you that will not allow you to pick up the chalice again. Keep that in mind as you're playing your rotations. Now, let's go over how this works in the different encounters. First off, the Abyss Encounter, you're going to be using the Chalice to get the Enlightenment to begin building the bridge. This bridge mechanic you'll be using through multiple encounters within the raid. You'll also use the Enlightenment to turn on the lamps, which takes your way to darkness down. Finally, you will use the Chalice to put it into a preserve spot that will light up additional lamps that you need to get to to get through the encounter. Within the bridge encounter, you'll again be using this to build the bridge and build the bridge faster. You'll also be using this to eventually put it on the other side of the bridge and preserve it. A, that allow you to have that buff on the other side of the enlightenment. B, you need that to finish the encounter. Finally, you will also use the enlightenment buff to pick up swords. You will also use this in the passageway between your, the bridge and your ute to actually take down green barriers. You have to be enlightened to go through them to take out enemies to give advancing encounter. In our you're going to use it for a couple things, the basically the enlightenment buff. You're going to use the enlightenment buff to be able to get through doors just like you did in the previous passageway. These doors you need to go in through to kill the wizards to get to the DPS phase. Finally, you can use this as an expunge mechanic during DPS on a Ute. Again, it just allows you to do some extra damage. It is totally optional. During Crota, this all comes back together. You're going to again use your enlightenment buff to be able to pick up swords, which those swords is how you take the shield down for Crota. You're also going to use this, someone has to have this, to shoot the Oversoul. Towards the end of the DPS phase, you need to shoot the Oversoul to basically reset the DPS encounter or the fire team will wipe. And again, that's the video, guys. I have tons of more detailed Crota guides that you can get into to get into each encounter, but this is specifically so, instead of watching a 25 minute video or a 10 minute video, Show your fire team this video with examples of what they do with the Enlightenment and Chalice buffs and allow them to quickly be able to not interrupt your run and finish up the raid. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.